What's up guys, David Moss Jr. here and I'm here with my internet manager, Giovanni, and I stole his phone because I want to show him something. So Giovanni is our internet manager and if you work in an office and you're under these LED super bright lights all day, you like me, like Giovanni, probably go home and every single night have a little bit of a headache and a difficult time sleeping. So through countless research, YouTube, I found some ways that benefited me a lot and I've been doing them for about a month now. So I'm gonna show Giovanni a way that he can quickly change just the settings on his phone. He can also change the settings on his computer and he also change the settings of his surroundings to help his eyes not burn so much from all these bright lights. So real quickly, I'm gonna show you. So all you do is you go on your phone and I know it's gonna look backwards to you. All you do, if you have an iPhone, I'm not 100% sure about Android, but if you go into your iPhone and you scroll down to in your settings, accessibility, you click accessibility. There's a lot of settings you've probably never even looked at. All you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll through here, scroll through here, and all you're gonna do, it's actually right here at the top, is go to display and text sizes. Once you click display and text sizes, there's a lot of settings that you probably also don't know that you can change your font and all that stuff, but that's not what this is about. If you scroll down close to the bottom, there's something called color filters. Click color filters, turn them on, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the green red filter. Nope, color tint, I'm sorry. <laughs> color tint. So color tint at the very bottom, take intensity and you're gonna run it almost all the way. You can take it all the way if you wanna turn your phone into a red light, like red light therapy. It's really good for your eyes. But I like to bring it back just a few hues to where you can still see some color so you can still function on your phone. And then you're gonna save that. So now you're gonna go back, you have that saved, go back. And here's another really, really cool tip. So now his phone has the red light as the main light behind every white on his phone. So no longer is it gonna be blue light. So his eyes are gonna no longer hurt as bad from the lights that he's looking at throughout the day. Now, the cool thing is that could be kind of annoying if he's outside in the sun, it might be difficult to see. So if he scrolls down to, where's it at here? Let me go back here, accessibility. And we're gonna go to, accessibility shortcut, we're there. Sorry guys, I did this on my phone, I did it on my wife's phone about a month ago, it was my first time running back through it, but it's really cool. So in accessibility, now he has it set red. If you go to accessibility shortcut there at the bottom. Now basically what the accessibility shortcut is, is if you triple tap on the side button of his phone, double tap takes you to Apple Pay, triple tap takes you to accessibility shortcut. If he goes there and takes color filters and brings it all the way to the top, now what he does, if he triple clicks his, his setting, oh, let me save it, boop. Now if he triple clicks, hmm. And while I'm messing around trying to figure out exactly how to do that, I wanna show you how I've also set up my computers. So I have the bright lights off in my office. I don't spend a lot of time up here, but when I'm up here and I have to do a lot of computer work, these lights burn my eyes. They burn a lot of eyes. So what I do is I turn these lights off. I've brought in an amber light for my desk. So when I'm doing paperwork, I can see, and it's very soothing on the eyes. I've also changed the tint on my computers to where it's leaning a little bit more towards the red side, red light, so it doesn't burn my eyes. Hope that helps, check this out. And to show you how I did that on my computer, you just go here and right click, display settings. This is Windows. I believe PC is gonna be the same. From display, you just go down to nightlight settings. I know, it seems weird, like nightlight. I don't need a nightlight, right? Nope, you're gonna click nightlight. And then I have mine at 80. You see, this is what blue light looks like. Yikes, that burns. And when you turn your night light on to 80, or you can go all the way red, 80 is that setting that just works for me. And then you save it, and then you're good to go. Accessibility shortcut. Oh, I turned it off. Boop. Silly me. Once again, there's a big fail. If you click it to where there's a check mark there, now, click, 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 boop, his phone is normal. So now if he goes back and goes into his normal phone where it's all nice and bright, he looks at that in the sunlight, in the lights to where it doesn't affect him so much. As it's getting later in the day, typically around six o'clock at night, or if I'm gonna be in a dark office, or if I'm gonna be in a dark, off or any office for that matter, I'm gonna one, two, three, click my phone, 
it's all gonna turn red. So when I'm looking at my phone, when I'm going through and working from my phone, it's not gonna burn my eyes so much. At night, this is a game changer. If you use Apple TV, I'll make another video on how to do it on your Apple TV so that you and your kids, when you're doing your movie night and it's dark out, you can change the hue of your TV to where it's a little red, takes the blue light out, saving your eyes and allowing you to get a much better sleep. I hope that helps. Have a great day and God bless.